Oh, Jesus. So here we are. Uh, this is my ride. Back with Haven. Haven, you gotta get the pirates. Otherwise, we can't make it to shore. Something got edited out of the last video. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the video, we were talking about what the fuck is Katana? What the fuck is it? And as I was ending the audio, as I was, you know, I stopped the video game and I stopped the audio. Ryan looked in the manual and his his discovery was at the very end of the audio recording. <laughs> so I just kind of cut it out because there's no context. It just sounds like Ryan just did a big coom. <laughs> Oh! Oh! So you wanna you wanna tell everybody what katana is that he needs? Yeah, we were we were wondering like why there was no explanation in game for like what those little balls were that we had to pick up that would count down as we played the game. Yep. Um, that's that's katana. So at the beginning when he's like, no, I need that katana to live. He wasn't talking about his destiny as a practitioner of bushido. <laughs> um, he he actually. <laughs> He takes pills named after a sword. Apparently everybody does. Yeah, apparently everybody's addicted to it cuz you know. Well, I think the air is like toxic or something. No, they made it they made all the slaves addicted to it so that oh. they couldn't rebel. Oh Jesus. Haven and all his people, his people. Mm. What do you mean his people? A li with a life-draining virus. Doses of natural antidote katana can be found all over the solar system, which means we're going all over the solar system. That's Perfect. I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, it really makes me wonder, oh, though. Oh, is that something over there? To the left? Up there? I don't know. But I know there's enemy contacts approaching from the rear. Uh, finished Doom on Nightmare. Oh, yeah? Did you like it? Yeah. Um, it was easier than I thought it would be. Yep. Because if you know the weapons, I didn't remember the complete layout of all the levels, just for the most part. But especially if you know the weapons and you know what upgrades you want. Yep. And I know where all the secrets are, so I could get weapon upgrade points real quick oh i wonder if that blue meter is the ship's health oh it might be but i just found it a little bit easy because all they did was make it so that some of the enemies were a little tougher and some of them could just like almost one shot you yeah and it's like that's not that interesting the interesting part was how much better and better at aiming they were and how aggressive they were that was fun because th then i had to i had to learn how to jump around like a fucking lunatic when I when I actually got it down, is that was really fun. In original Doom, uh, Nightmare Mode typically wasn't considered to be the best option to play just because uh, enemies would infinitely respawn. Oh, okay. And um, it made getting 100% runs on levels really annoying because, you know, some of the levels were so big and there were so many monsters that by the time you got to one end of the the other side were already coming back so one thing that everyone wanted but they couldn't get was the fact that nightmare also increased the move speed and the like ai clock for all the monsters yep so they would do everything at a faster pace mm -hmm. and um you can get mods of that now but yeah it was interesting like ultra violence was definitely one of the harder versions of doom but you could never get a version of the uh ultra violence with the faster moving ai you had to play nightmare for that oh, that's unfortunate but now we got potential plans for december um turns out it, it's not my original idea <laughs> so somebody else thought of it a a a doom December. i'm very excited about that proposition yeah we'll stream some doom games um, I, I can play through Eternal, and Ryan can play some of the older Doom games. Yeah. As much as I would like to play some of the old Doom games now. Oh, there's more. Yeah. Sorry, you have your antidote eggs that keep spawning. I like how they screech like Tamagotchis when you touch them. Yeah, that's the that's the plan, is to stream some Doom games in uh, December. Ah, uh, ship's gonna die. That's fine. I yeah. gotta do it over anyways. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because I think the strategy... Oh, it's just going to let me pick up where I left off anyway. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think one of the strategies is... I think the strategy here is to just take the damage, but go for the uh, go for the first turret. That way it only has one of them. Well, now the, and then, uh, now the ship's at full health, so... Yeah, that too. <laughs> I finally watched the episode of Black Mirror. Or, well, more context. Every now and again, I'll jump back in and watch an episode of Black Mirror because there's a decent amount I haven't seen, and I don't just binge it, because then because then each of the episodes kind of loses their, I don't know, effect or impact. Yeah, um, you need some time to reflect on it, I guess. Uh, so I bounce around the seasons now, and I finally got around to watching the episode, 
that had two of Carl Pilkington's ideas. <gasps> Carl Pilkington? Yeah. Oh, no. I I'm sure you heard about this. That doesn't look like the correct effect. That no, looks pretty bad. Oh, oh, it's just like jets. So you remember his uh, his movie idea, A Love of Two Brains with Clive Warren and Rebecca De Mornay? <laughs> yeah. So they basically did that in a Black Mirror episode. Oh, God. Uh, it starts out almost exactly how his movie starts out. The guy goes and gets breakfast and gets hit by a bus. Uh, except it's the wife and she gets hit by a truck and she's in a coma and she doesn't seem like she's going to come out of oh, it. Oh, jeez. So, all right. So, uh... <laughs> they don't use the dumb idea of you only use half your brain. Pop, an, pop someone else's half brain in there. Oh, instead, this six things. Instead, they use another stupid, ex another stupid logic. We only use 40% of our brain. There's another 60% there where we can put her. Because, you know, it's sci-fi and whatnot. Oh, oh, okay. So it's like we can download her consciousness, put it in there. Uh, it doesn't do the thing where it's like uh, she begins overpowering him. It goes a much more horrifying direction, as is Black Mirror. So at that point, it departs. But, um, you know, the general concept of, oh, this is great. This is working out. And then it's not. Do you care? Do you care if I spoil it or? No, I'm never watching that. You know, having having his his wife in his head all the time, just just having any person in there all the time. The person has no agency and you have no like mental privacy. That's horrifying to me. Alo that alone. And uh, it gets to the point where it's like, all right, well, we can up your privileges so you can pause her. <gasps> It's like, oh, boy. oh, Jesus. And the first time he pauses her, it's for like several weeks. He's like, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to do that again. And then it gets worse and worse because they have a kid. And it's like, I want to see my son. And while he's got her on pause, he goes to see the doctor again. And it's like, well, we could delete her. And uh, he's he's like, no, we're not going to do, do that. That's, that's murder. And the doctor's like, well, not legally so then the doctor's like all right i have an alternative solution we could put her in here and it's a fucking stuffed animal monkey the fuck with like a she would be able to see out of it she'd be able to feel when it's you know when it's when it's when it can feel things and it can kind of respond it can kind of talk and he's like all right let's do it well, well actually he didn't really want to do it but then he was pushed by you know new new lady oh and we're dead again. She's fucking horrified and terrified that she's now in this stuffed animal. <laughs> yeah, really? I wouldn't have imagined that. And, you know, it's given to their son so that she can always be with him. But kids are fucking fickle and they move on from toys immediately. Uh, and the only thing she can do is press a happy button or a sad button. Happy button, the monkey says, monkey loves you. Set no button is, uh, monkey needs a hug. That's it. Who would fucking do that to a human consciousness? That's, what the fuck? Who is this fucking Mendeleev-ass doctor they're fucking? <laughs> well, this is, that's what got him fired eventually. Because it, it all starts with him showing this one girl his museum of, like, uh, criminology, technology stuff. And he shows her the monkey. He's like, this, is, this one's the saddest story of all. He's like, you know, the, the UN decided that you need to be able to express at least five emotions. Otherwise, it's inhumane. And he looks at the monkey, and this is several years later. He looks at the monkey, and he's like, isn't that right, Carrie? And the monkey says, monkey loves you. And the person's like, she's still in there? What the fuck? And he's like, yep. Uh, it's illegal to delete her now. The other idea, it was actually adapted from a story that Penn Jillette wrote called Pain Addict. But an idea of Carl Pilkington's was absolutely there. The doctor who could, like hook up a thing to his brain and then they put on a thing on their head and he can experience what they're experiencing and diagnose them. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hollywood really is desperate. <laughs> they have nothing left. Uh, it, it was the funniest shit. You know, Black Mirror's got some very cool episodes. Very, very neat ideas. Always horrifying. Because uh, technology, technology of that persuasion horrifies me. What, technology that can capture the consciousness? Yeah, or even copy it so that you just have a duplicate. It's like, no, I don't like it. It's, it's, it's too much to go into. It's, eh, don't like it. Also, what the fuck is this ship? And yeah. why is the fucking smuggler not evading it? Um, yeah, he's confident. I think you're just about done. And you could also see your destination over there. That weird fucking island that looks like it belongs in Jack and Dexter. Jesus Christ. 
I guess it's been a while since we've had like a, a vehicle boss. Remember the train? Oh, uh, do I ever. This is an interesting one, I'll tell you that. Oh my god, it just keeps going. It kind of reminds me of a, a game that I picked up recently, because I've, I've wanted a copy of it for a while. It actually reminds me a lot of Raystorm. It's, uh, it's like a bullet hell type thing where you're in a spaceship and all that and very cool and has great music. A lot of the bosses have like, sometimes they have dramatic movements they do and all that, but some of them eventually end up at a point like this where they just idle and move around a little bit or you move around so they can use all their different weapons on you and you shoot at them. It's a lot like that. Are you dead? Oh God, what's going on? Uh, oh! It was like torpedoes? Ah, one on the right looks on. Yep. There you go. <laughs> had, a, had a little bit of gumption left oh, in it. Right there. There you go. Oh, there's more. There's more guns. Oh my god, more. This fight's been going on so long, we're running out of katana. Everything's dead. Oh, yeah, the sky changed color. I think we're good. Sink, you big bitch. Oh my god, please. No, nope, we're going to the back of the ship. No. Oh, fuck! I, I actually legitimately need more katana or I'm gonna die. Really? That's like Yeah, you gotta let two? it hit you. Oh. No. Oh. The thing's on the right. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh! This is ridiculous! Oh my god. Oh my god! This thing is absolutely insane. I'm just letting it kill me. <laughs> what the fuck? Look at all of this! Send out the speed modes! Mm. Sir, what are we doing? Run into them! And there's four of those guns. Jesus Christ. All right. It's gonna be the whole ass shit. Oh my fucking God. Uh, this is the end <laughs> of the game. No, nope. that's what you said before. All right, I'm just, I'm just letting this ride out a little bit before I start talking again. Ooh. I think we can, I think we can take a commentary break for a little bit. I only found two cheat codes. Recharge your shield and refill your health. It's very Morrowind. <laughs> All of Morrowind is a cheat code. Yeah. I, I remember when I played Morrowind, I, I used the uh I used the cheat codes quite a bit because I wasn't I wasn't smart enough to know how to play it right. So I just wanted to go on an adventure. Sure it would be cool if you could just shoot at whichever part you wanted. <laughs> I understand the idea. Like, you shoot at them when they're open. It would just make it that much harder to target the incoming projectiles, though. Yeah. Uh, My Life in Gaming put out the second video of their Analog Frontiers video series, where they just talk about restoring, maintaining, and trying to play, play the different ways you can play retro games. And the recent one was about hardware and the maintaining of it. And they talked about how uh, things like Genesis cartridges, Super Nintendo cartridges, they have lasted like 20 to 30 years, and they're yeah. probably going to last a bit longer. Discs could, will probably last a good amount of time, but if it, you know, if it's CD-ROM or DVD, you know, they they're not really built to last forever. Right. Blu-ray discs will last a very long time. Uh, you know, every, everything provided you treat it right. Optical disc drives. They don't, th the consoles is where the shit starts to fall apart quicker because they don't make consoles to last. They just make them, we just need it to last a generation. Right. Uh, because the older consoles, if you manage to like take it apart every now and then, double check if you, any of your capacitors are leaking because that's it. That's really the only thing you need to look out for. Or the main thing is if a capacitor leaks and those are dirt cheap and require a little bit of soldering experience to get you know, back in, or get a new one in, rather. But older consoles, they'll last. Uh, newer consoles, they don't make them to last. And and disk drives, they just go bad at one point. I think uh, one of the things they talked about was for PS1 or PS2, they were actually pulling the disk drives out of so ooh, out of Sony Walkmans <laughs> because it was compatible. And it's like, yeah, that's that's great. Oh, and they and they also talked about. Uh, CRTs are all going to go away one day. They don't make them anymore, and they're they're actually dangerous to do maintenance on. Oh, yeah, because of the cathode. Yeah, it's like, unless you know how to... Oh, oh, my God. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. What like, were they thinking? 
If you're thinking nobody's gonna fucking play this. And then your katana starts to run out. Uh, but yeah, they were talking about how CRTs are all gonna go away one day. Uh, you, you, I think you should get it now, your katana. Well, it's turned this way. Yeah, but the bolts are gonna fucking show up. They'll come out the other side. Oh, there they are. Yep. I thought they would at least fucking come out of the ship. No. Remember, if you're gonna bust the pots, they gotta come get you. Is there any chance this repairs the ship at all? Nope. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Get their little port. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. You can't. I know. You can't do this. I know. This is impossible. <clears throat> like this is just actually not possible to do. Do you have any other firing buttons? No. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was another weapon. Yeah, I was. I was learning about that hardware stuff, and um, uh, I, I would definitely like to consider getting into like soldering and figuring out how to how to work with game consoles because that, 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 that that's a neat hobby that i would enjoy take an apprenticeship with jimmy <laughs> uh do you want to try something um uh, sure you want to try to refill your health see if it refills the ship because it seems like the ship's health is going down with yours i mean it's making my shield go down right and your health meter is going down along with it so i'm wondering if they're tight if they're tied together in this instance it's not though all right let's try the shield one is there no way to heal the ship? <laughs> this falls over. Dude, this is... This is legitimately not possible to do. <laughs> Does anyone talk about how to beat this section? Uh, I can find that. If you find yourself stuck at the level where you are on the captain's boat, all you must do to beat... It is go back and forth between the two big guns. What do you... What? What do you mean? What are you, what are you talking about, dude? Maybe going to the other gun refills that ship's health? I don't know. All right, well, fuck it. I'll try it. Yeah. I'll try anything once, I guess. I'm just going to let it kill me. <laughs> I've lost too much health trying that. Oh, big dude galleon. Here we go. Two guns, drop torpedoes, take out the slew of torpedoes and then focus on one gun at a time. He likes to move around a lot, so stay with him. If you focus on the gun, sometimes you can destroy the torpedoes before they hit the water. With the two lower guns destroyed, two guns up above will open up, blah, 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 blah. Now during this time, the galleon will turn constantly, sending you from one side of the ship to the aft and over on the other side. Nope. Just, just those normal tips. Don't take damage and deal damage to the boss. <laughs> Incredible. Be good at the video game and you will succeed. Have you taken no damage? I've been doing really good. Yeah. Ooh, baby, do you know about uh, I did experience something interesting because I'll be moving on to a new job here soon or same kind of job, still same company, but just different property. Uh, I've decided to start just working on thumbnails. Just getting a bunch done, cause I won't be able to do that at new job. Cause you know, I'll be have I'll have a job again, like a job yeah. job. They will require things of you. Mm. Okay, I think this is my chance to go grab katana. I realized with with one of my thumbnails, and this this doesn't happen often, but I I was sat there and I was just like, ah, I can't find a font I like that can say stream and fit on this thumbnail and like it. Can't find a font. So I just arbitrarily decided this will be a series. <laughs> and, and, I, and I just started to think, I was like, how many times have I actually done that and not realized it? How many times do you think you've done it? Not many, if any. And if I, if I have, I completely forgot or didn't realize it. Cause I usually, I, I have that planned out pretty well. Like I, I'll, I'll, I'll know about a game I want to play and, and I'll know what, what I want it to be. Ugh. Oh, we're doing it. Yeah, you're doing good. Have a reasonable amount of health. That's so ridiculous. You get like no time to react. I was, I was watching the radar. Yeah. Thankfully, yeah. they seem to do a lot less damage if you kill at least some of them. There's probably going to be some coming before. Maybe? Oh, uh, something went out there. Yeah, there they are. What is this? And he's already shooting at you. Jesus Christ. Did he turn back? Oh. Are we on the back guns now? Oh, oh, we're, we're here. Are the guns up top shooting? Oh, there. I mean, Chris, I'm sure they are. 
<laughs> I'm trying to get ready for one thing. Yep. Why are we still here? That's that's cruel. You can't even aim up high enough to stop those. And there's just too fucking many of these things. Just to suffer. Oh jeez, I, I I don't have much to say because I'm just I'm 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 I'm, I'm on edge. Oh jeez, that's one. That's two. Oh my god. Oh, you got it. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it's just the singles. It's all the single ladies. Oh my god. Just two guns. Who's, who's going first? Who's going first? Who's on first? Oh no. What? This is impossible! What the fuck? <laughs> this is impossible! <laughs> Chris, this can't be done. Oh my god. Like, maybe with mouse controls I could probably do it, but... There is a mouse for PS2, but I sincerely doubt. I, I would... I would be amazed if there is compatibility. Yeah. Well, I'm finding lots of useful advice. I'm finding barely anybody who plays this game and only like there's a few channels that played it and then there's some reviews on it like the game because th this is a very weird game. Yeah, that like they, they I remember when I first looked up this game, it was uh, the only videos I found were people who were specifically looking for weird platformers of the PS2 era that were not no not well known. Because, you know, we had Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper, which that's not really a platform. That's a stealth game. Yeah. Pretty good one, too. Dude, I'm doing okay. Yeah. I, I am getting pretty good at this. Yeah, I, <laughs> I I would hope you're getting something out of this. How you, how you feeling, Ryan? What are you thinking? Oh, my God, dude. I can't think anything except kill that, kill that, kill that, kill that. Yeah. Who knew that this game would, like... When you found when you came upon your first turret section, you were like, "This is great. I love this." And now they're really testing you. They want to they want to put that admiration to the to the quandary, as it were. That doesn't actually make sense, but I said it. <laughs> yeah. like little beepy boops on the gun. Oh yeah. Little blinky lights. Really helps you remember that this is high tech sci fantasy. You know, this is real. People are actually dying. Person is up. There were more things that flew out, of course. Yeah, you'll just have to keep an eye out on that for me. Oh, I don't okay. Know if it's left or right. Oh, Jesus. The ship is mostly dead. I feel like this is more like halfway. Because <laughs> after you took out those big four guns, it's like, all right, time for the throw. Oh, left side again. You need to fuck off. Oh, you seem a little oh, kinder God. on damage, though, while you're away. A little. I think it's just because it was those small things coming after you, those guys. These big canoe canoons really fucking hurt. No, no, no. No! The camera! Oh, oh no. Whoa. God, they really added no way to heal the ship. There's no recourse. Oh! Here we go. The big... I guess those are guns. <laughs> they drop mines. Nope. Oh, that that's where the mines come from. And then you got to aim at those for some reason. All right. That's a bit more reasonable. As long as the ships are kept to a minimum, I think I... I think maybe we can do this. Yeah. If the virus in our veins permits. You can do it, Ryan. I believe in your ability to haven. Whoa. That's good. Oh, jeez. You're pulling it off, Ryan. You're doing it. These pirates. You know what? You know what? You, oh. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 <sighs> Might be a good idea to go yes, back. Yes. 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 Might be good yes. to get some katana after these mines. Because it takes like... Oh. Takes like four. All right, guess I'll do it on the next loop. Yeah. Takes like four rounds of this. I do like your strategy of tapping. It's a good idea. No! Right. This isn't a real video game. <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> Why?
right. I'm in the zone now, though. That's good. I got it. I That's got good. it. I got it, Chris. I got it. I'm going to I'm gonna be writing the fucking strategy guide for this once I'm done. <laughs> you just make a game fax specifically about this fight. And you just call all the guns fuckers. <laughs> now this fucker over here is a real piece of work. You're gonna you're gonna start off with two fuckers. When they shoot at E, you shoot the things they shoot out. You gotta balance your gun between the fuckers they shoot out and the fuckers themselves. Then you move on to two fuckers. But wait, it spins left and right where there's multiple fuckers. Is this really necessary? Like, what are we proving here? That I'm just a real bad dude. <laughs> we do have that game. Yeah, we do. Step one to this game. Have your friends sit down and watch the radar while you focus on shooting. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work last time. It's only because it's your first time. You okay, get I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it's good to have a side of the ship that's dead. That way, when the ship rotates back, you can go get lots of katana. You see any of the stuff about uh, Halo Infinite? Uh, yeah, I saw Chris Raygun's thing about it. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about Halo, though, so, no. you know. It's, it's, good to, it's good to hear from somebody who loves Halo. It looks like it would be fun. Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything particularly wrong with it. Yeah. I mean, the story is a little cheesy, but I mean, Halo's always been kind of bunga bunga story. I do really like that villain. Set a fire in your heart, <laughs> It was fun. I like you. Put a fire in your loins, my boy. <laughs> or I'll do it for you. You know what would be really good for this? A fucking control stick. It would be really good for this, not reversed controls. Yeah, control stick. <laughs> it is interesting that they have that slight element in there of uh, time pressure. Because if you take your time on this, it's clear you could win. Yeah. But they don't let you. They got rid of that. Too easy, they said. People think we aren't going anywhere, Ryan. We're going somewhere. We're going to the Isle of Heroes, that's where. I mean, at this point, I personally want to go to the Isle of Heroes if this motherfucker's who's standing in the way. Like, there's gotta be something good there. Right? The big claw island. The, the, all the all the platforming that has to be here that's fun and good. It's gotta be, Ryan. You would you would think. I would I fucking pray. You're at good health, you're at decent katana. I, I think one one different thing you should do is when you need to go back for katana, like right when right here when you would normally shoot at one of those, just the moment you hit the last mine, just go. That'll give you a little bit of extra time. Why can't these things share a health bar out of ever anything on this? Why can't <laughs> they share a health bar? Why do I have to break his muffler? Like, why can't I just shoot into the room that's holding all these mines and blow the ship up to kingdom fuck? Considering how sturdy Ahab a banana's ship is, we could probably just run through him. Yeah. The amount of artillery fire this thing can take. He's had his potassium, <laughs> obviously. Ahab a banana. I just fucking love... It's Haven's fucking look when he says that. <laughs> Just, oh, w wonderful. Ni nice, nice to meet you. Um, yeah, I heard a bit, but we're good. You saved the health, Ryan. Oh. That's the only resource you can't restore. The katana comes back. How obnoxious of them to know that you're going to need katana during this. So here's a few pots here, and then we'll just put it in the hallway. So gross. They knew it. Who tested this and said, yeah, that's finished. That's okay. And then, and then this tiny window to shoot at it. Like, why? Yeah, I've killed things at much further ranges that were much smaller. This better be the end of it. Oh, please, God. We've blown up the front. We've blown up the back. We've blown up the sides. One more. One more. Oh, my God. I like that it's got left and right arrows. I'm taking a, the biggest swig of boomer juice after this ever. Please, die. Die, 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 yeah! die, 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 Woo! die, die, <laughs> cease forever. Oh my god. Yes, I think, perish. I think two days passed while you were shooting oh that thing. Oh my god, I believe it. <laughs> oh, oh, you get to enjoy the thing sinking. Fucking gun comes out of the top of this and fights right at the end. Haven's gonna die before it sinks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yes! Oh my god. This is the best game ever. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Take your swig of boomer juice. Yes. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Haven! Hasn't even docked yet. Oh. Ah, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, you're here for the hero, eh? 
Well, I must say it's a relief to find Why does he have arms coming out of his hat? Whose hands are they? He's standing on sticks too. I just wanted to talk with Oh my god. Yes, of course you do. Of course you do. This character design is like 6000 years ahead of society. Couldn't I just go see the wise men? Just just go and see the wise man. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's a very important and wise old man. We can't have just anybody going. This guy really just fucking sits one here waiting for ruin, people to show up? One from the towering arena, one from the cloudy rise, and one from the cargo boat. Oh, my God. And then you can have an audience with it. They, they, just, they stopped it there. It's been an hour and 17 minutes. It sure has. If we managed to clear it in about an hour, I was going to be like, all right, Ryan. I'll give you five or ten minutes on the island as reward, but we don't even have that. I have it's fine. I have to fucking like seeing that man was enough of a reward as it is. That they put him on stilts, put a pirate hat on. I was like, you know, something's missing. Limbs. Yeah, just sever some arms off of somebody and put him on his hat. It'll be funny. He's the tour guide. He's the kind. Of, we want to see. We want to kind of guide him here. Who, who you want to high five? They're just like okay, and then they did that. He's oh like, my god. Okay. Chris, this game is like, it's a fucking heroin-induced fever dream. Like, what is this?